Hi, I'm Corey Flemings and welcome back to Whiteboard Insights. All the market today is abuzz with this new term omni-channel distribution or multi-channel distribution and everyone's talking about it. I know for me personally it's a little embarrassing when people start talking about something and I don't really know what they're talking about. So I wanted to just talk very briefly about what is omni-channel or multi-channel distribution and why does it matter and how can you be a hero in your company if you can figure out how to deal with this. What is it? Basically it's this. I'm a company and I have a product line and I send out wholesale orders let's say to uh, Walmart or Macy's. I'm a clothing manufacturer for example. <clears throat> and I send them out to Walmart or Macy's distribution centers. So we'll call it distribution center. And I also have to send it out to my own retail stores. So I have stores out there on the marketplace and I have to distribute to them as well. And all because Al Gore invented the internet, we have direct market customers or e-com where I have a facility set up specifically to deal with this. Now how did we get into this? It's most this one down here, this last box, that's important. Back in the day when the internet was first invented, somebody came up with the idea, hey, we can sell stuff on the internet. The problem with that, though, is everybody had concerns about whether or not it was safe to use your credit card on the internet. And as all of us now know, those days are long gone. Nobody really has many concerns about using your credit card any longer. In fact, this box, the direct market box or the e-commerce box, has really started to grow in size to be equal to or even eclipse the box for retail. And by box, I'm talking about a different distribution center. When we first started with the direct market campaign, a lot of companies took a wait and see attitude. They stood back and said, well, we're not sure if this is going to work, so we're going to put a little box over here, give it a little bit of inventory, and we'll sell things out of that, that facility. Well, as time has gone on, this thing has become huge. And so now we have cost for a wholesale distribution center or operation. We have cost for a retail and direct market. What kind of costs are we talking about? Well, let's do the math. If our average product costs about $5 a piece, and we sell, say, 250,000 pieces a day, and then you have to carry 30 days inventory on hand, that's 30 days inventory on hand, this works out to be about $37.5 million. Just in inventory carrying cost. That is to say, I have inventory here in retail, and I have inventory here in this facility, and it has to be the same inventory. So I have duplicated inventory in two buildings, both of which is worth about $37.5 million a month. Add to this cost, now the cost of real estate, because I have a building that I have to either lease or buy. I have my power cost, of course. I have my labor cost. I have taxes and fees, and so every time I add another distribution center box, I incur all of these costs. So one of the ways that you can become a hero in your company is to figure out how can I take two of these boxes, or even all three, and smash them together into one building so that I'm using one set of inventory to feed wholesale, retail, and e-com all at the same time. If you can figure out how to do that, you will be a hero in your company. And you can potentially save your company as much as $37 million a month. That's a lot of money. The next part of this series, part two, we're going to talk about what are the issues involved in doing that. What kind of things do you have to deal with or consider in order to be able to combine these operations into one. But quite frankly, if you don't want to watch the second half of this video series, you can just call us and we'll give you the answer. Thanks very much.